Hi, I'm Natalie Ouellette. I'm an astrophysicist and I am the coordinator of the Institute for Research on Exoplanets at the University of Montreal. And I'm also the outreach scientist for the James Webb Space Telescope in Canada. Why did I become a scientist? Um, so I actually grew up in a household that had lots of science going on in there. Uh, both my parents are engineers and uh, we always were going to the library or we were watching documentaries on television and I always really loved nature so I like to look at nature and try to understand what was going on especially the physical things going on around me so clouds and the weather and rocks uh, so I always knew that I wanted to observe nature as a job and understand nature more and uh, I really like big things in nature. So hurricanes and tornadoes and volcanoes, but also space. Space is like something that is way beyond the control of humans. And I find that really fascinating. So uh, I knew from a really, really early age that I wanted to be an astronomer. What role did science fiction play in my career? Um, so I actually like science fiction quite a lot. Science fiction and fantasy are some of my favorite genres of either movies or books. Uh, I watched a lot of Star Trek when I was growing up. So a lot of people either like Star Trek or Star Wars. Um, I think Star Trek, I like it a little bit better. I find it really, really um, more scientifically accurate and it's like a possible future that we might have later on. And my favorite characters in the, the different series of Star Trek that I would watch were always the science officers. So my favorite Star Trek series was The Next Generation and my favorite character was Data, who was an android, but he was also the science officer. And it was really interesting to see him do science and be curious, not only curious from a scientific point of view, but because he was a, a robot, he was curious about the, the human experience as well. Um, in terms of my favorite science fiction novels or books, my favorite author is actually Michael Crichton. And um, he is the person who wrote Jurassic Park. So this is my favorite science fiction book, Jurassic Park. And um, I really love the movie. The movie is actually my favorite movie. And uh, he wrote lots of different things. Another one I can recommend is called The Andromeda Strain. And it's uh, about uh, an epidemic that happens because of a virus that comes from outer space. So one thing that I really love about Michael Crichton's books is that he uses sort of like really realistic science and he would include graphs inside of his books. So it felt really realistic. Like the scientists inside the, the stories would talk about the real science that they were doing and uh, like statistics and math. And so I felt like I had, even though it was sort of like beyond reality at that time, it was something that was close to what could really happen. So it was science fiction, but it was, in a possible future maybe that we could have science reach that kind of point. If I could change a single thing in the world today, what would it be and why? So I think really the biggest issue that humanity has to face right now is climate change. Um, and I think that it is something that has been going on for many, many years, but it is getting worse and people are becoming more conscious of it um, but we're not changing things fast enough. And I think that the earth will be able to survive climate change and life on earth in general will be able to survive climate change, but life as we know it won't be able to, and um, humans in particular, we need a very specific balance here on earth for things, for us to thrive. And uh, the way that we're treating the planet and the way that we're changing the climate and the weather systems, it's, it's not good. So I think that just for the sake of our own survival, climate change is something that we really, really need to work on. Um, and it's great to see the young populations all over the world being more conscious of this. But unfortunately, the people that are in power, older people, people who run governments and, and industries and companies, they're not necessarily making the changes fast enough so um, it's up to us and younger generations to try to like shift that momentum. It's not a lost cause yet, but the longer we wait, the harder it'll be to change that whole situation. So I think climate change is a really big one. So um, final words for you. Um, I hope that you find science interesting and that you find a gateway through it through, with science fiction. A lot of the things that happen in science fiction are things that we could make happen in the future, but science fiction also has a lot of interesting things in terms of uh, lessons to learn and 
how to sort of steer science in, in the right direction. And the, in the end, we're the ones who get to decide where science goes. So if you want to make your mark in the world, science is a really, really great way to do it. And um, it'll help you sort of like make science go in the right direction. And if you want to get involved in science, staying in school for as long as you can and studying things that you're interested in is like a really good way to do it. So I encourage you to stay curious, uh, read lots of stuff, be interested in science, ask a lot of questions and uh, yeah, use all of that to try to make a, a significant positive change in the world.